Hello and welcome back to another my, my YouTube video. Today in this video I'm doing a general update. Now I hadn't actually planned on filming this update today. Um, yeah, so I had actually planned on doing a bit of repair work to this car but that didn't happen and unfortunately time ran out due to what happened earlier on. So yeah. I've got a new toy for which I might show you as well but I'll show that in a minute or two. But basically I ran out to stop my car today, my one lighting, to go up for a little drive. And uh, there's a bit of an issue with that. It only ran for a couple of seconds. So, on the start of the game, I heard no fuel pump rhyming. So I thought, right, I thought the pipe might have, the pipe, the pump might have died. So, there's no priming at all. So, but, so, so I went to look at the relays and stuff like that. So, I thought, I thought the first thing I'd do is check my uh, OVP relay. I had a jump start in the car. So, I think, I thought to myself, hmm, maybe that might have uh, damaged it, but. So I had a little look, and um, yeah, one of the fuses had popped in the relay, so I changed the fuse. So, went back to starting the car again, and no pump, priming again. So, that obviously leaves one problem that it could have been, and it was this nice little thing called a fuel pump relay. So, luckily, I had a spare one with matching, well actually I had two spare ones, but one had a matching part number, luckily. So, um, Switched the relays over, plug it back in again, and it still jumped starting it, and it started fine. So I think possibly, maybe the, the fuel pump really popped the OVP fuse. Possibly, that's why I think it happened. I think Nick died and killed, the, and popped the fuse in the car, stopping the other circuits from running. So both of them changed, and put in, and I said the car now runs fine again. So that is an unexpected twist to the day. I didn't really expect to have to change this, but luckily I have a horde of relays, so it's uh, not too hard for me to find a spare one. But this one's dead, so I'm gonna find a or buy a new one just so I've got a backup. But I'll probably take this apart in a different video to see what exactly went wrong with the relay. I do. I don't think. I don't. Know, I don't know if it's a um, result from what happened but on the bottom of the relay it looks like something melted and gone over the numbers it looks like a bit something like podney pod stuff like they get like you get something they huge to, to put around certain stuff yeah i don't think it would have been i think um whatever's inside it's melted and he's gone all over the numbers it's just peeling off very easily Yeah, I think that is probably actually could put. I think that's not going to work anymore. Now, moving on to my new toy. Um, it's getting a bit dark in it, so let's put some light into the situation. I'm not sure how well that's going to do, but we've got a bit of light on the car. So, yeah, my next toy, which I have bought, is this. It's a inspection camera. Not sure how well it's gonna work, but it's been charged, and apparently it's full HD. So and this will be perfect for a few things I have planned. One of them things which I have planned is to do is to inspect the fuel tank. Obviously, take the tank out and inspect it fully for rust. And obviously, you can't really look inside the tank without one of these. So I'm gonna use this to inspect the fuel tank. If it's too far gone inside, it'll be easy to get to get a new one made or you can hand one bought. And um, use that instead, but I've already the car been set for 12 years, so I don't know if it's been set with fuel in the tank or whatever, not or if it's been drained. If it's set with fuel in the tank for 12 years, there's a possibility the um, fuel may have um, separated from water or water's got inside and condensated in there and rusted the tank out consequently. So I'll need to double check this if you don't want to suck a load of rusty fuel into the engine. Oh dear. Yeah, so this is a wireless um, inspection camera, so it appears to your phone. If I turn it on, you can see put little LED lights on it. Turn it on. Let's so, see if I can pair to it. <clears throat> okay, so I am connected. So, if I, for example, bring you down here now. Here we go. So I'm going to go through this hole down here and have a look through there. So if I pull this now, 
Alrighty, here we go. I think I'll date my switch here. Look at that. Filthy. And I think we're in. So, let's have a look around. We see some wires in here. Okay, perfect. It's actually not bad at all, really. Quality. For what it is and how much I had to pay for it, you know. I didn't give it a free charge in case anyone was wondering. I did have to pay for it. It's actually a pretty decent feature that it allows you to record to your phone as well. Which means when I do do the fuel tank, I can look around and record on my phone at the same time. But no, at least, at least I don't know when I do any fit the fuel tank, I better save the video and actually look back on it later on in case I missed a few bits. It's always good to be able to replay it back and actually see it again. So, just in case. Or, or again, in case you need to show it to someone else. And that way, you've got the video you know, to see. So. But apart from that, it's not really too, too much more I can say in this general update, really. Apart from my one has been repaired again. Um, a few got really. I'll definitely have to get another one of them and keep for a backup in case. And yeah, and I'll just show you the new toy I have again. So I'm actually quite happy with that. Um, the quality wise, it appears to be pretty good. Good, and it's obviously got really long cable. Um camera on it so you know I'm not gonna say it's a brilliant machine and you have to use it until I've had a chance to fully use it. I mean I've just put it down a little switch hole and saw the quality and had to see if it works really but I wish it does. It does come with a um a few more little things you can put on the end. Yeah you can screw the cap off I think or it clips on oh, I think it clips on actually and it comes with like a few little hooks and stuff you can use. I definitely am going to have to use it, yeah, like not sure when I'm going to film it now. I've had, I had planned on filming it today, but as mentioned in this video, there were unforeseen circumstances preventing me from doing that. So for this video, I want to say thank you for watching. If you're not really please subscribe to my channel and like the video as you like and subscribe. It really does help to see this channel to grow. And if you do subscribe to my channel, as soon as I release a video, it will notify you straight away and especially if you press the bell button that definitely make sure it will do them. This has been on the drive updating you from my 5 CTA and I'll see you in my next video.